In this problem, we've got a projectile launched from a point on horizontal ground with speed 20 meters per second at an angle of 55 degrees above the horizontal. So the diagram of what's going on here looks like this. So here is our projectile being fired off, okay, and it goes through the air and then hits the ground. And it's set off at an initial uh, velocity of 20, or initial speed of 20 meters per second, at an angle of 55 degrees to the horizontal. Okay, so this is the situation that we have, right? So, in this video, we're going to be using uh, the SUVA equations in order to solve the problem. Okay, so the problem that we've got is that we want to find the time taken for the projectile to reach its maximum height. Okay, so, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to split up our board into looking at the x's and y's. So we're going to separate uh, the horizontal motion and the vertical motion, okay? And for each of these, we're looking at a set of SUVA equations, okay? Right, so... What information, what information do I currently know, okay? So, I know that the initial velocity for the x component, okay, thinking of that as the right angle triangle, will be that side of the triangle, and so that would be 20 cosine 55, because we'll look at the adjacent there. So, 20 cosine 55. And the initial velocity for the y component will be the height of that triangle, the opposite side, and so 20 sine 55. Now, I've got, I don't know what the displacement is. I don't know what the, veloc the final velocity will be. The acceleration, I know that there is no acceleration horizontally, and that for vertically, the only acceleration is downwards at the uh, rate of gravity, where I'm going to be using 9.8, okay? So I'm going to be using 9.8 for all these problems. If uh, you're told to use a specific g that is not 9.8, then you've got to use that in the problem set in the exam. The time, I don't know that either, okay? So this is all I have. Now, in order to answer the time taken for the projectile to reach its maximum height, you need to understand that a particle reaches its maximum height when the vertical velocity is zero, okay? So it's still uh, traveling from left to right, but its vertical velocity at that point will be zero, okay? So we're actually looking at the vertical uh, direction, okay? And we want that final velocity to be zero. Okay, and this is just for looking at when the particle is at that point. Okay, so I look at the SUVA equations and think, right, what do I want to find? I want to find the time taken. That's what I want. So I want an equation that doesn't have s. So the only one that doesn't have s is number one. So v equals u plus at. So I want the final velocity to be zero. The initial velocity be 20 sine 55. The acceleration is minus 9.8. And time is what I want. Okay? So I need to rearrange this to get time. So I'm going to get the 20 sine 55, okay, which is 16.38. And I'm going to divide it by the 9.8, because I'm going to move that over to the left-hand side, divide through by the 9.8. And I get a time of 1.67 seconds to 3 sig fig. Okay? I'm going to keep that in my calculator because I probably want to use it for the next bit. Now, for part B, the maximum height the projectile reaches above the ground. So that's the time it takes to reach that point there. Okay? And now I want to know what the maximum height was. So I want to find the displacement of the y. Okay, that is the height, that is how far along I've gone, this is how far I've gone up. So I want the S here. Now, given the S, okay, 
I will want to use this one here, okay? Now, I could potentially use the others, okay? But in the majority of problems that you will be working with projectiles, that number three equation is used the most often, okay? So, that's what I will use. So, S is equal to U times T plus one half A T squared. So, S equals U, so the 20 sine 55, times by the t, the 1.67, plus a half times a, so a half of minus 9.8 is minus 4.9, so minus 4.9 times t squared, the 1.67 squared. Okay, so I kept that number in my calculator for a reason, so I can use it here. So we've got the 20 times sine of 55 times by my answer key, take away 4.9 times my answer key squared. And that gets me 13.694, so 13.7 metres to three significant figures, OK? And really, my final answers here, OK, if I'm being true to this, should be just given to the two significant figures because that's the... Uh, um, how accurate my acceleration is, okay? So really, my two answers should be 1.7 seconds to two sig fig, and this one will be 14 meters to two sig fig. Okay, accurate to two significant figures due to gravity being accurate to two significant figures. Okay, so that's how I can utilize the SUVAT equations uh, to deal with this problem.